make the wiring as shown in the diagram GPIO number 3 or the SEL is connected to one terminal of the push button the other terminal is connected to the ground the cathode of the LED also shares the ground uh, with the push button the anode of the LED uh, is connected to GPIO number 14 so let me just show you as to what you need to do in order to get the system up and running so right now uh, you can turn on the raspberry pi by pressing the push button but if you see uh, the activity led just blink once and it doesn't stay turned on uh, by default for it to stay turned on uh, you need to enable the serial interface within the raspberry pi config and uh, in regards to the button uh, as it is, uh, the button uh, can be used to turn on the Raspberry Pi, but uh, by by default, it doesn't have any programs to shut down the Raspberry Pi. So let me just show you as to what you need to do in order to have the uh, activity LED turned on and uh, also shut on the Raspberry Pi using the push button switch. Over to the uh, on-screen instructions now. So just like in the previous case, I have uh, enclosed a text file uh, which you can refer to to set up the push button uh, as a switch to the Raspberry Pi. So before that, we need to SSH into the Raspberry Pi. So first, uh, we'll uh, set the activity LED to be turned on when the Raspberry Pi is on and be turned off when the Raspberry Pi is off. So to do that, uh, go into sudo raspberry config. In some versions, uh, the serial option will be in advanced options. And in some cases, it will be in under uh, interfacing options. Go into P6 serial, enable or disable, choose yes, finish, choose yes. You can uh, copy paste the commands one by one uh, to get the uh, push button switch working. So the first step uh, to get the push button working is to install the dependencies and then uh, later create a script uh, which runs in the background. So you can uh, just copy paste the commands one by one. So now all the dependencies have been installed. So what is left is just to create a script, save the script and uh, run the script every time the Raspberry Pi boots. So now we need to create a directory to store the scripts. We have called our script as uh, shutdown.py uh, since it is a Python code. Just copy and paste uh, the 
command in the blank space. Press Ctrl X, choose Yes, and enter. So now we need to restart the system and then uh, add uh, the script in the RC local so that. Uh, starts every time the Raspberry Pi also starts. Over the bottom, uh, we have the SharePort sync, uh, which we added in order to start the SharePort service uh, every time the Raspberry Pi boots. So in order to enable uh, the running of the shutdown by script, copy and paste the script. Press Ctrl X, choose Y, and enter. So let me now uh, just shut down the system. And then uh, we'll boot uh, the Raspberry Pi by pressing the push button and then uh, shut it down again by pressing the push button. So as you can see, uh, the Pi is not running right now. The activity LED is not turned on. So let me turn on the Pi by pressing the push button. So now let me uh, shut down the Pi by pressing the push button. So as you can see uh, the Pi shut down uh, after pressing the push button. So that is it guys. So I hope you like this project and uh, please subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.